Welcome to the second of our two-part video series on a doll's house and in this video I'll be going over all you need to know about the key characters in this play as well as the themes and interesting points of analysis to make reference to and this video is particularly useful if you're working towards a particular deadline for instance if you're revising before an exam that's impending or if you're using this uh, to complete a coursework that includes the doll's house as part of your analysis. So now going into the key characters. The main character and the protagonist is Nora Helmer. At first Nora seems to like being treated like a doll and she's always cheery, particularly around her husband Tovald. We realise however that she's quite shrewd and she understands making deals and debt and she works very hard in secret and unbeknownst to her husband. When she's revealed to her husband the fact that she took a loan behind his back and worked to pay it off, she realises that he doesn't really know her at all and he doesn't appreciate her, so she leaves, which is very much ahead of her time, particularly at the time that this play was written. Tovald Helmer is the other key character. He's Nora's husband and he's an ideal male type in the marriage and he wants to protect his wife. However, we learn that he's the less mature of the two. Dr. Rank also tells Nora that he fired Krogstad mainly because he doesn't like him and he feels threatened in his workplace because of him. Tovald is also concerned very much with looks and appearances. He wants Nora to stay in the end because it will make the family look bad if he is divorced. Krogstad is the other key character and in many ways he's seen as the villain. He's portrayed as the antagonist. However, he's also somewhat sympathetic. He doesn't want to lose his job for his children's sake and while he blackmails Nora, he does try to help her. For instance, he did help her secure a loan, but also equally when he has a change of heart, he does want to go back and re retract the letter that he'd sent to Tovald detailing Nora's decision to take a loan behind his back. He's described as immoral, but we learn that he became that way after Lind, another uh, female character in the play, abandoned him for another man. Now, the key themes are interesting. So the first theme is with respect to women. So the women in this place sacrifice a lot more and they work much harder than the men, yet receive fairly little recognition. So for example, Nora takes out a loan and works so that her husband can be paid, cared for when he's sick. And Lynn sacrifices her youth to take care of her mother and brothers. Nora does leave in the end, knowing that her children would be better off with the nanny than in a broken marriage. Appearance is another key theme. Some of the characters in the play are quite what they seem. For instance, Nora seems innocent and very dainty. However, she really is quite shrewd and tough. Krogstad seems quite cruel when really he's just hurt and desperate. And Tovald seems strong and in control when really he's the least mature and he's the least in control of them all. The play's climax is really all about the characters coming to terms with their real identity. Lind and Krogstad making up and Nora and Tovald breaking apart. The entire play takes place in the living room of the Helmer home. So the home is an important key theme. The home is seen as a comfy and safe place, particularly around the holidays. So this is set in the Christmas period. And that's how it seems at the start of the play. However, by the end, we see the home as breaking apart and actually falling apart. It no longer has the comfort that it once had for the fighting couple, so for Nora and Tovald. And this is where the word doll's house comes from, or rather the term doll's house comes from. The home is more like a fake house than it is of any real comfort. Now, when you're thinking about analysis, the Christmas tree is something that's important, particularly to bear, um, to pay attention to. So like Nora, the tree is something that is meant to be looked at. And she tells the children that they can't see the tree until it is decorated like the way she tells her husband that he cannot see her until she's fully made up and she's beautiful. So the tree is treated in much a superficial way as Nora is. As Nora becomes desperate and dishevelled, the tree also begins to wither in the play. Now, the play is also set on Christmas as the characters all look forward to New Year's Day. 
They expect one type of new beginnings, that Tovald, for example, will have a better job and things will get better. However, in reality, they break apart. But ironically, this is indeed a fresh start. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, please do give us a thumbs up if you found this video and this summary useful, particularly when it comes to themes and key analysis. And if you would like a summary, just summarising in a nutshell what the entire play is about, do make sure you watch our first video on A Doll's House, which details the play in much more depth. And do subscribe to our channel for more educational videos. Thank you so much for listening.